Hello YouTube viewers and random Gundam fans, Mac of Max Mechas coming at you with my next video review and one I have anticipated for a long time, the High Grade Universal Century Barzan. Now some of you are going to be wondering what exactly the Barzan is because it doesn't really resemble any suit from any era if you've never seen any of the Gundam series and just go by the suits this one kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Well essentially and unbelievably it is the mass production version of the Mark II Gundam. First question you're going to ask is how does it go from this to this? Well when the one year war was over a lot of Xeon's technicians were actually taken into the Federation to design mobile suits for them because they had a lot more experience than the Federation at the time and well Federation were pouring out mobile suits like this but Units like this were being stolen by the anti-Earth Union group, so they had to quickly do what they could with what details they had and what testing results to make a mass production version of this mobile suit ready for the field. So they passed it on to the Xeon engineers who came up with this. And while it was a good performance unit, it wasn't very well popular with a lot of pilots. And it ended up being scrapped sometime after that civil war. You never really see them in the rule, any rules after that. I don't even think you see them in doubles either. Well, moving on from there. This is exactly what I could have... Everything I could have hoped for with this kit. I wouldn't say what I expected. Because it does have its problems. But definitely, definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. Band, a lot of people complaining that Bandai's designs have simplified. Well... Then they come out with something like this and they show no, they are not simplifying at all because I'm going to tell you right away, I used no stickers on this. And yet you look at it and you see all these colours and all these parts. And the only thing I've done is add a little bit of paint. But apart from that, you could build this as is. No stickers needed and the thing would be perfect. So, get on first of all to size comparisons. Just get these easy bits out of the way. As you saw, here it is next to the Gundam Mark II, where the Barzam stands just ahead above it. And just in case you don't have any version of the Mark II Gundam, who I'll set to the side here, because I'm going to need him for the next bit. I'm pretty sure most people will have a GM in their collections of some kind and considering they're all the same size here is my custom GM custom we all put it in there just for size comparison and you can see again pretty much the same size the bars on just standing ahead above the rest so we'll take him out of the way we're not going to need him because one feature of this which I've not actually tried yet, this is the first time doing it, is if you remove the Barzan backpack, no, that was easy enough, you can see in here there is the two holes necessary to plug this in, but there's also a sliding bar, which is the same one on this backpack apparently. And this also has those two peg holes that the Barzan has. So essentially you can swap the backpacks. Yep, that's going on there nicely. Let's see if the same can be done here. Yep, not a problem. He doesn't look that great from the front, but he does. Although you can see that the blues on the two kits are a little bit off from each other. This one is more of a, a royal blue and this a navy. But, I suppose if you were painting them, you could make some nice custom kit bash with this. So now we'll take him out of the way. Move on to the next part, which is accessories. So, as this is a standard mobile suit, it doesn't really come with much. The bars have never had a shield, but it does, interestingly, beneath these panels on the arms... I'll just show this as part of the features here. If you take, bring them close enough, this part here, fold it out just like that. 
inside here are fake beam saver handles because when you see the actual ones and how big they are you wouldn't be able to peg them in there but they do still give you the fake ones anyway which I thought was pretty neat so the accessories you get the two beam savers in a really nice yellow you get the machine gun pod which just fits around the head up here you get a spur left hand which we just plug this one out plug this one in and then we can give him a beam saver And I like that the wrists have a nice bit of movement to them as well. You can actually get them pointing down a good bit. But he needs a main weapon, normally a blaster of some type. So why not give him a beam gun? Just take this hand off because you also get another hand, which is the same as a beam saber hand, funnily enough, not a trigger finger for the beam rifle. And it's a very unique looking weapon. It's more like a, a real gun. But apparently it's the same rifle that the Mark II uses. So you just plug that in here. And then instead of using an ECAP, it actually uses the generator from the mobile suit. So you connect it up in here. And now you have a gun. And of course with this connected to the arm and to the hand, you'd think, well, it's just going to stop any arm movement. But... There's a poly cap in here, allowing you to move both the gun and the, the arm at the same time. Angle them up nicely. So, we'll just take that away because I'm going to need to get into articulation. So, taking these all out of the way. And taking this off the top. Now we'll start with the head, which doesn't really go that far up, but comes down nicely. Good bit of side to oh, popped it off. Good bit of side to side, and complete turnaround with no issues. Now the shoulders are where things start to get interesting. They'll come all the way up, and you can see if you just tilt the head back, do that on both sides. And both arms will come right the way up. Bring them back down. Bring them forward. You can see in here that this joint is actually on a rocker. You have turn joint up in here in the forearm. Double jointed elbows but they are restricted by the back panel the beam saver's in. You have the opening panel I've already shown and a nice ball jointed wrist. I move these up to come down to the waist. Legs will come this far out. All the way down. Really far forward. Not that far back. Really nice double jointed knee where you're exposing some pistons and I've just added some nice uh, grey blue in there you can probably see that throughout the kit now you come around to the back of the leg and you have this nice panel that opens up here with the thruster on it foot rocks back and forward really far really nice foot joint it rocks side to side and closes up now the waist joint is a bit fiddly, but it is there. And I've seen with some people it can actually separate if you're not careful. In fact, the waist presents quite a few problems because if I come in here with the legs out of the way, you can see some not so nice stress marks in there where the legs connect. Be careful with that. I've seen the same thing happen with a couple of reviewers, Prime 92, uh, Asaki Aurelis, same thing happened. 
when you plug the legs in, those joints just warp. And I even tried filing them down to prevent that, and it was no good. It still happened anyway. So, overview. What am I going to give this one out of 10? Well, the accessories are very minimum, but it never really used much in the shoe anyway, so can't do anything about that. And it is just a unique mobile suit, but they went out of their way with designing it, not only in how it looks, but how it moves. I'm going to have to say that 8 out of 10, because while it is an amazing mobile suit and it doesn't need much in the way of paint or stickers and the sculpting on it is fantastic and the articulation it does have its problems now maybe they'll probably be fixed in later iterations this is a first print version of the kit so you're bound to find some flaws somewhere but um for what it is it's definitely worth it i mean it's not that expensive either i think it was something like 18 pounds i paid for this so Definitely, if you're looking to expand on your Titans group, which really could do with some newer kits at the minute, this is definitely a good one to go for. So, thanks again for watching. Link in the description below to the website, and see you at the next review.